Aloha. This is Hope Johnson coming to you from Kapoho. Papaya Farms Road, to be exact, on the beautiful big island of Hawaii. Hooray! I was just sitting alone in my friend Chitta's living room. This is a living room. It's gorgeous. It's screened in. It's just screened in. No, no regular walls. It's got a looks like pretty regular roof though, and all around is green. It's so pretty. So many shades. A couple other colors here and there too. It's just. So relaxing. So what came to me was, to share with you anyways, was that God did not create the world you see. The world you see, God did not create that. God did not create your body. Okay. Um, when I say God, you can you can substitute source if you like. It's the same thing. The divine, it's all the same. Anyways, God did not create your body or the world. Body and the world are really one thing. They're part of one thing. It's a perception. The world is a perception. Reality is not a perception. It's just known. It's known to you now. It's just that there's this perception covering it up and the perception is distracting. Getting all entangled with the different things and the perception and um, feeling different variations on the emotion of fear. In reaction to perceiving. Keeps reality seeming more like a fantasy. While the fantasy that we've come to. Starts to seem more real. The reason it's good to know that God did not create the world that you see. God did not create the world that you see. Because in knowing that, or in willingness, even a little bit of willingness to know that, if you don't know that right now, or if you can't say you know that, willingness to become aware of it even, You won't be vulnerable to the world in terms of the world will have no power to affect how you feel. That gives all the power back to you. That's what allows you to reclaim your power. You know, the, the, the feeling, all the feelings are illusion, are illusion, but the feeling that's the closest to who you are is joy. So if the world doesn't have the power to affect how you feel, as in make you upset, make you angry, anything like that, if the world doesn't have that kind of power, guess what? You're in joy. You're in joy. And the whole world that you perceive is affected by the way you feel. It's an effect of you. Feeling is just thought. It's a first manifestation of thought. If you're willing to take responsibility for your thoughts and how they affect the way you feel... You won't have any problem with anyone or anything. Oh, the whole thing, the whole, the whole problem with anything is just a feeling of fear. Without the feeling of fear, there's not a problem with anything. 
And then, you know, of course I have people bring up, well, if there's not a problem with anything, then how will we improve? How will we help people? How will we, um, I don't know, bring community together? There's all kinds of different, make money, whatever the person is, is into, you know. When you're not dealing with fearful feelings, the focus of your attention gets centered on whatever it is that brings you more joy. Instead of being distracted by whatever it is that brings you pain. Really, none of these things bring you anything without your authority. It's kind of like you send these that you send you send these they're projections say things that happened in in the perception that's projected by by you so it's like you send this thing out so that it could bring back to you messages of what you already sent out that's all it is so if you're caught up in a game about people did this to me and so therefore that's why I feel like this if you're caught up in that kind of game, then you're sending out messengers to bring you back evidence that what you feel is justified. And people get so frustrated because things don't change and they're like, why aren't things changing? And, you know, I bet you've heard if you're into spirituality at all, yeah, you know, I bet you've heard the saying, the only thing that can change is your perception. The only thing that can, can change is your perception. That's literal. That is all that can change. I know it looks and feels so different. It feels so different than what it actually is. But that's what the illusion is for. It's meant to set up to so that you can. it feels completely different from what you are. So that you can convince yourself of it. Well, good job. We've all been convinced. Now, the way to undo that is just a little bit of willingness to have a different interpretation, a reinterpretation. So you're not leaning to your own understanding. Your own understanding is wrong. That's the thing. And that's myself included. I just admit that whatever I understand about it is wrong. If I have an upset feeling, then whatever I understand is wrong. That's not the way I'm created. I'm created in joy. There's no opposite to that. The contrast that we perceive in this world is only for showing us that what we're thinking right now is erroneous. That's what the contrast, the feelings that contrast joy, contrasting feelings, the reason for them is to show us, to reveal to us that what we're thinking is in error. So we can ask for and receive a correction. So, I see my friend coming back. So until next time, mahalo, aloha, and ahui ho.